Hello, my name is Brett Milliner. I'm employed by Tamagawa University in Tokyo, Japan, and today I'd like to share some of my research concerning class blogging in the English as a foreign language classroom. Uh, before I get stuck into my research, I thought it's important to define what a blog is. And a blog is generally uh, seen as a, a regularly updated website or a form of micro publishing. And a key component of, of all blogs is that there are options for readers to directly comment or qu question whatever content has been presented. And in since blogs were designed almost a decade ago, many teachers have experimented with using them in the education context, and uh, Campbell, as well as Bakar and Ishmael, uh, identified three types of blogs generally observed in the education context. Uh, these were the tutor blog, a learner blog, and a class blog. And I want to highlight here that my research and my talk today is geared towards the evaluation of a class blog, which is a blog whereby all of the all class members as well as the teachers are working together on a shared online publication. Uh, a number of foreign language teachers have conducted some research into the impact of blogging on their students' learning, and a number of key advantages or pros for implementing a blog in the foreign language classroom were, have been identified. Firstly, uh, blogs increase communication outside of class and this issue is particularly poignant for uh, foreign language teachers because te your students get very few opportunities to engage in using this foreign language uh, outside of the classroom walls and a blog is a great way to create a context for students to practice uh, using uh, the foreign language. Uh, other advantages include uh, blogs can increase or improve uh, participation in class. Again, this is very important in a, a language classroom because uh, uh, pre-class blogging activities can develop students' knowledge of schemata and uh, students can take time to develop their opinion about a certain topic or issue before they go into class and actually have to, be, have to engage in using the foreign language to talk about the, the content or issues. Uh, better social connections, uh, and enhance writing skills, enhance computer skills and online communication skills, and increase motivation are all also uh, benefits observed for EFL class blogging. Uh, now, my predecessors, in citing a lot of these advantages, noted that there were still some challenges in implementing a class blogging component. Uh, the first one is somewhat counterproductive for the uh, one of the advantages that I noted earlier, and that is that while blogs are an attractive uh, task to supplementing students' engagement in using the foreign language outside the classroom. Uh, studies by Wolf and Murray observed that there was really little uh, back and forth discussion between students in their class blogging components. Um, Wolf in particular uh, noted that while students did engage in some comments and asking questions of, of different blog authors, uh, he observed that the comments and, and questions only amounted to very few words or one-line type um, interactions, and he concluded that it really uh, didn't amount to any real quality uh, language being used. Uh, next is technology training, and with, with any implementation of uh, technology in the classroom, teachers do need to dedicate a uh, sufficient time to training students in using uh, the hardware or the software. And many teachers have very busy class syllabuses and to dedicate uh, long amounts of class time to technology training may be somewhat counterproductive to the schedules that, that they like to keep. Uh, lastly, and this is a big one that teachers really need to be aware of, if, if I don't know too many teachers who are not already very, very busy, and to engage in something like a class blog is signing yourself up 
to reading uh, large quantities of students' posts and online interactions. Uh, also, teachers uh, in looking controlling a blog component, you also have to be available 24 hours a day to help uh, serve your students should they encounter any any technological issues or problems. Now, my study concerning the implementation of a class blog uh, was done at three different private universities in Japan. Uh, my students were aged about 20 years old. Uh, the Their language level, if you're familiar with the TOEFL IBT test, was about 60 points or up and intermediate level English. I use the software Posture Spaces to house and conduct the blogging component. I was attracted to Posture because of its excellent smartphone apps and the ease at which I thought students could engage in communication through their, their smartphones. Also, uh, Posture allows students to generate uh, a wonderful variety of uh, blog content using their, their smartphones. Now, my research questions were, firstly, I wanted to learn how the blogging component was perceived by my students. Uh, secondly, I wanted to learn whether the blog uh, experience impacted upon my students' level of uh, motivation. And I wanted to know how my students were using technology to participate in the blog. Uh, the, for the first question, uh, I, at the end of the blogging component, after the 14-week semester, I asked my students to complete a short online questionnaire concerning the blogging component, and also I asked my students to write a final uh, reflection on the blogging experience. And from the, the questionnaire, I learned that uh, most students felt the blog was useful for English study. Uh, a large majority believed that blog was an effective way to practice writing in English, and 88% believe that the blogging com contributions enabled the students to uh, feel that their English language skills had improved by the end of the course. Uh, for me, though, the biggest take-home was that 93% of my students believe that the blog was a catalyst for developing closer relationships between class members. And this point was also observed in students' uh, comments about or reflections about the blogging experience. I think it's also worthwhile to note that uh, not only did it improve relationships between class members, having this public forum for the class provided an opportunity for students to learn things not only from myself as a teacher, but from their classmates. Next, uh, my second question concerning uh, motivation and whether the blog participation influenced motivation, I learned that uh, generally uh, students believe that uh, by looking at their classmates' posts, they were motivated to write more effectively themselves. Uh, students also believe that this type of context for writing uh, was one in which they would try, they tried harder than other, po uh, other pen and paper, say, writing tasks because they knew that their work would be observed by their, their classmates. Uh, I also, students, 76% of my students believe that the blogging task made them want to study and improve their English skills. Uh, some comments that students made relating to this uh, motivation question. Uh, one student noted that uh, if they ever received a like, message or a comment from their classmates, it, it increased their motivation for writing. Uh, and another one noted that this type of class was, approach to writing, it was more appropriate or was more interesting than ones where students would just use pen and paper. Uh, my last question concerning technology usage, I was particularly interested in, in finding out um, students' response to this question because my study was different to my predecessors in that students could engage in the blog using their smartphones or their personal computers. And I first asked my students about how they engage with the blog for reading and, and writing. And you can see here in the, the graph that 
uh, it was almost 50-50 split and many students generally uh, wrote and read the blog on their mobile device and this was particularly interesting because there was a study by Fujimoto into Australian university students who found that students preferred to, in that context, preferred to use their PCs for larger text composition such as writing an email. Uh, another take home uh, from the technology question was that some students observed that, or noted how the blog had taught them about the dangers of communicating online and how they have to be careful about uh, the, what they wrote on their blogging posts. Um, another student said that this this experience gave them skills to use social networking sites in English. And I hope I'd like to study in the future to see whether uh, this experience emboldens students to then go out and seek other English speaking or English uh, English context online, be it uh, blog discussion boards or social networking sites. Uh, now my study was not without challenges and the biggest one came in the form of the actual software. Uh, when I started, Posturus was acquired by Twitter and this move I learned was Twitter actually trying to take away Posturus's programming talent. And as I moved along through the pilot, slowly holes began and some errors or um, problems emerged in the software and many students while they were posting or using the software instantly there would be a freeze or some a message like this one uh, you can see on my slide and shortly after my pilot uh, I'm sad to report that Posturus was officially closed down uh, another failure or a problem that I emerged that emerged from this study was that I, I like my predecessors failed to really achieve any quality back and forth interaction between my students and moving forward I think uh, I need to stri set stricter blogging deadlines and maybe consider using uh, comment quotas and tying comment quotas to class grades. Another concern for me as a teacher was using a blogging software that's not designed for education uh, was that it was difficult for me to track students' posts and evaluate students' work effectively. Uh, that concludes my talk. Uh, these are some of the references uh, that I consulted on my slides. I think the biggest conclusion for me was that in spite of severe uh, technical issues, students still maintained a very positive perception of the blogging component. Furthermore, the blogging component appeared to promote uh, student motivation and it was also enabled students to develop their technological skills. Uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, by all means uh, email me, uh, my email address is here. Thank you for your time.